Summit Power International is part of Summit Group, which is a leading uh, infrastructure-focused conglomerate in Bangladesh. Uh, we're the largest independent power producer in Bangladesh. Uh, we've been operating for almost 25 years and co-sponsored the first private uh, power project in, in the country. And we also operate the second um, FSRU uh, terminal in Bangladesh. And part of the, uh, the other parts of Summit Group include fuel supply uh, and trading through a shipping, uh, sh shipping business. We also have, or Summit Group also has port operations. It also operates the largest uh, telecom infrastructure uh, fiber optic network in Bangladesh and is involved as well in, in real estate uh, development. We actually have 18 power projects that we own and operate, 17 are operational, and one is uh, under development, a 600 megawatt uh, CCGT uh, gas-fired plant, totaling uh, our total portfolio is, is around 2.3 gigawatts of power. Uh, almost 70% of that is gas-fired, uh, the rest is, is fuel oil. Um, 20 we have 20% of the market share of uh, the private operated power market in Bangladesh. And we also have our uh, 500 uh, million uh, cubic feet per day uh, FSRU. Since 2019, uh, JERA, uh, Japan's largest power generation company, has also been a strategic investor into Summit Power International. And you know, along the, the lines of partnerships, we also partner with Mitsubishi in our LNG project, GE as well, across several of our plants. GE is, is viewed as a very strong um, EPC provider and even invest uh, with us in some of our projects, as well as with, with uh, Tayo Life. So, you know, as we, as we discuss enabling LNG import and, and infrastructure development in various regions. I mean, partnerships are critical and our partnerships have, have been quite helpful. We operate one of two FSRUs in Bangladesh. They're located in the southern part of the country where there's a bit of a deeper draft that allows for LNG terminals to, to come into the country. Um, we, uh, we own 75% of the terminal alongside Mitsubishi. Uh, the terminal company um, uh, leases an FSRU from Accelerate. We also contract with PSA Marine for tug, uh, tugboat services. We had an EPC contract with Geocean and McGregor to develop a, the mooring and pipeline from the FSRU onto shore. We've obtained financing from uh, uh, SMBC and, and Clifford Capital amongst them. We interface with the government of Bangladesh as well as with Pet Petrobangla, which is a national oil company, on the project agreements. Total import capacity uh, of LNG with these two FSRUs is, is one BCF per day. Um, and, you know, looking at the existing domestic gas production and projected gas demand within the country, as put forth in the gas sector master plan um, in Bangladesh. And, and there is a um, substantial gap between you know, uh, existing domestic gas production and demand, and the government has taken steps to try to meet that, uh, fill that gap with imports from uh, LNG. We are, you know, our core market is in, in Bangladesh. Uh, we also are focused in South Asia, Sri Lanka, India, and Pakistan. One observation is that in each country, it's it's constrained in terms of its gas domestic gas supply. So there, if gas is to form um, part of the power generation mix, there needs to be an infrastructure, whether over land or through LNG imports into the into the countries. Sri Lanka has no gas uh, domestic gas at the moment, but are in the process of developing an, an FSRU. Um, Pakistan, very similar to Bangladesh, has good domestic supply, but it's declining, and they as well have. Um, have brought two FSRUs into the country and are looking to expand. So I think the summary um, that I wanted to a conclusion that, you know, enabling gas, fi gas import 